at this point, I've had some time to dig into Diablo 4 and to see what Blizzard is offering. I'll be covering five areas where the game unfortunately feels like a real downgrade from Diablo 3. The first problem is the new inventory, which is too small. Way too small. As well as being too small, comparing items in your inventory to see if they're an upgrade is clunky. Definitely not as refined as the system we got in Diablo 3. The second issue, and one of the biggest, is the world scaling mechanic. Because the world levels up with you, there really isn't any feeling of progression until you max out your level. This means the game is likely to be extra boring until you max out your character. Honestly, this just feels needlessly spiteful. Third on my list is the dungeon design, which I actually don't think it's possible to be mean enough when talking about this. Someone at Blizzard got it into their head that picking up two keys and then opening a door is the absolute most fun you can possibly have in a video game. That person needs to be fired. The multiplayer experience is hard to separate from the MMO components of the game, which are terrible, but there are a few things that are obvious downgrades, such as the limit of two players in couch co-op down from four in Diablo 3. Likewise, the LAN party mode just doesn't seem to work, and the lag is so bad that even as a solo necromancer, you can watch your skeletons glitch and jump their way through towns. Finally, there's the open world, which isn't very open at all. If you watch your minimap while exploring, you'll see that more than half of the world is made up of places that you just can't go. It really feels like the Diablo 3 map that's just been stretched out to make it longer and harder to get places. I suppose mounts are supposed to fix that, but not breaking it in the first place would have been much, much better. If you've liked this video, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.